Welcome back to Living 808. Time to get those costumes out. Halloween is about a month away. Now, as you know, one's makeup really completes the look of any costume. So in today's Savvy Shopper, Rebecca Higa here with MAC Cosmetics is showing us how to create some of the most requested looks for Halloween. Hello, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, Halloween is definitely our most favorite time of year. It's like an unofficial holiday. So. Well, I will say one of your models here is actually a, a, also a makeup artist at yes. MAC, and I have gone to him Andrew year after year to do my makeup so I know a lot of people do go to Mac to get yes. their makeup done for Halloween can you tell us what are the most requested looks so the first one is our zombie look hands down so the key is obviously muting out the skin first which we used the concealer palette to do is that this one here yes and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add more and teach you guys how to use a bruise and we're just gonna apply this customized times four palette that we can make for you at the store that can create any type of special effect type of makeup. So just adding chrome yellow. So you use this concealer palette for his base. Yes. Okay, and this concealer palette, that's a great palette to have mm -hmm. anyway, right? We, yes. we should probably all have this palette anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. And then the palette you're using, um, you actually, you can put, you can choose what colors you want and put it into the palette? Yes. Okay. And then so we can customize like a special effects palette for you to create these bruises, these gashes. And especially when it comes to a bruise, the uglier, the better. Bringing that ba uh, zombie back from the dead. Okay, now when you're, when you're working on him, is there, do you have any tips? Like do you start in one spot and then brush it mm -hmm. outwards? Yeah, so you want to just use a fluffy brush, like a 224. It's going to create a more like airbrush finish. Okay. And really just kind of work it and drag it and make it really organic into the skin. And like I said, the uglier the better. Don't be shy doing it. Okay. That looks great. That looks like a real bruise. <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay. Terrific. And what is uh, another popular look? And then hands down, our skull is the most popular look. And so as you can tell, we actually left some teeth open so that you can see because we sketch it out first using lingering brow pencil. And that's going to create a almost like map and a stencil for you. And then you can go in with some boot black liner and just really make it more defined. So now you're using a liquid eyeliner? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just using frosting lipstick, which Paris actually has in her hand. Well, I was going to ask you how you get the white yeah. for the and teeth. Yeah, and so it's actually this really white lipstick that we came out with that is matte. And then you see how it just really goes on really beautifully and you get like that ghost white appeal. Okay, I have never seen white lipstick before. Yes. Is that something that you guys only have during Halloween? No, it's actually all year round, and you can actually mix it with different colors to kind of create your own lipstick. Well, that's good to know. So you can buy it now, but you, it's something you can use year round mm -hmm. when you mix Definitely. it with the other colors. And then you want to just make sure that you're using a flat tip brush to really define that white and then going over with a white eyeshadow to make it even stronger. Okay, so mm -hmm. the the black liquid liner, that's what you use to make the the between the, the 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 darkness between the teeth. Did yes. you use the same black eyeliner for her eyes and for the other designs? For that, we did. We used it as a base and then some carbon eyeshadow that you can use on top to just make it mattified and a little bit deeper and long wearing. So that way her makeup's going to last all night for Halloween. Okay. Yeah. Very nice, and I see that you extended the look through her we neck and her it chest. Down. So do that lingering brow pencil definitely helps to map it out and makes it look really nice and easy. Okay, great. And number three, who do we have here? We have Anna. She is our fairy. This is the time of year where you can, like can do color, do shimmer, and the one thing that's missing from her look that we're gonna add is glitter. So we actually have dazzle eyeshadows that have a ton of glitter pressed into them. So they're kind of like glitter on the go. Okay. So you can take it with you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a kind of three-dimensional highlight that you can't get with a traditional highlighter. So just kind of sweeping it on the cheek area using one side and then adding that kind of silver highlight on the other. And then you can even take I a little love bit it. down the bridge of the nose. You know, I think you can wear glitter anytime, but I, yes, <laughs> so definitely. I love that you're adding it to her, to her look. 
and then she can take it with her. If she wants to spread her fairy dust to other people, she can definitely do that. She looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, I want to take a quick look at all of yeah. the products here, a closer look at all of the products. So, so this is what you used on Andrew. Right? These, yes. This one right here. So cool tone eyeshadows, and then we did our special effects custom palette that you can make at the store. Okay. So for whatever wounds that you want to create, it's definitely possible. Um, and then also the concealer palettes we talked about. Okay. And for our skull? For our skull, we used Pro Longwear uh, Concealer, which is a muted down uh, light concealer over Paris's skin. And then the black uh, boot liner and then the white frosting lipstick okay and i love the colors uh, for our third model yes. look at all of this so we used loose pigment which you can mix it into anything lip gloss skin eyes and then also some dazzle eyeshadows to emphasize that shimmer and just a lot of fun so halloween's a time to like just go all out and not be afraid yes i agree rebecca thank you so much let's look at our models one more time they look great i am getting really excited for halloween Yay!